Hey guys, this is the new G3 Guide Roll Top Backpack. This is the fully waterproof fabric um, that's capable of attaching at the top or down along the sides with the compression strap on the top to secure your loads. Um, in the video I showed earlier in our meetings, um, you didn't really get a visual of what this front pocket looked like, so I'm gonna open this up, kind of give you guys a view into the front storage pocket here. This is great for when you don't have to open the entire bag up to get your liters and your wallet out of the front. Um, as you can see from the side here, we got that laser cut point uh, leash system. So you can tighten this baby down. You can throw a big Nalgene water bottle on the side pockets. I'd say overall, my impressions of this when I first got the sample was how incredibly lightweight and durable the fabric was compared to the previous models. Um, when this bag is completely empty, it weighs maybe a pound. It's very, very light. Um, the back of the backpack here, you have that TPU molded back plate with nice padded shoulder straps on the back here and a fully removable belt. That is the new guide G3 backpack. Um, and next to it here, I have the new G3Z duffel. Um, again, first impressions of getting this bag and unboxing it and unbagging it was it weighs hardly anything and it holds just a ton of gear. So right now I just have bags inside of it, um, but this bag can just hold a ton of stuff. And the zipper is fairly easy to use. It's a nice big true zip. Let's see if I can open it one-handed here. And the inside. All right. So the inside is a big bag on the inside. There is one pocket on the side here for quick storage. Sorry, there's a lot of moving around. Right here on the top. That is the new G3Z guide duffel. Here is the new True Zip Dry Creek Z backpack, new for spring 22. Um, in this video, I'm gonna compare it to the current model, which is in tan right here. Um, current model, as you can see, has a little bit of a water bottle holder and a mesh back plate and suspended straps with one drop down pocket on the inside. The big improvement for this coming year is gonna be, one, the fabric is much more supple, it's lighter, and it creates a lot more volume of the bag. So just a quick glance from the side, you can see that the storage capacity is much greater in the new model. Um, on the inside, you do have a big drop-down pocket right here, along with a zippered pocket on the back as well, and it does lift up for easy access. Um, what I noticed was an, a better feature was the front pocket size. As you can see, you're really limited to this very small section here, whereas now you have this big front open pocket. You still have that big open net sleeve. And then huge improvement on the back plate. This is the TPU coated back plate. So it sheds water and is really comfortable and, and for, you know, disperses a lot of heat on your back. So a uh, big removable waistband. You can attach all your accessories and pliers. Um, just a much bigger bag with a lot more carrying capacity. Similar stories for the hip bag and the sling pack. Um, I'll show you real quick the hip bag here. Um, we did open this pocket up quite a bit. Um, did put a bigger uh, loop patch on the front for hooking your flies. Um, I'd say overall from last year's model, the opening is much easier and wider to get into, um, making it so you can fit a couple bigger boxes on the inside of this guy. Um, as you can see, the bottom is a lot wider. You can you could throw a few fly boxes into this bag here. Um, it does have the air mesh back system here with a fully removable waistband. Um, super comfy. This thing will hold a lot of weight on your back, I can already tell. Um, and then a really nice uh, boomerang shaped shoulder strap that's fully adjustable on each side so you can position it in the right spot. Um, 
2022 sling bag. Very similar to the backpack. Um, expand the front pocket. Big pass through for your net. Um, we do have nice loop holds on the front and on the back uh, with a docking port. Um, one nice feature of this bag as well is the inside opens up nice. You got multiple drop-in pockets, one zippered and a couple of elastic. Um, huge improvement on the back here. You got that TPU back plate on here as well and a really nice articulated shoulder strap that is removable with the buckle. So hope you guys get a better view of the new Dry Creek Z series. All right, last but not least, we have the new Dry Creek Roll Top Backpack. Um, super sturdy fabric, as you can hear. Incredibly lightweight. I can lift it with one fingertip. Um, some huge improvements on here. You do have the compression strap on the top, some different configurations of lashing this bag down. Big, giant, huge front, giant pocket on the front. You can store all sorts of gear in here. Um, Big giant water bottle holders on both sides and then the air mesh pod system on the back. So as you can see, these are bumped out, nice and soft and cushiony. It does have a removable waist strap. The inside of the bag, I wanted to just show you this real quick. This is a fold down pocket. So if you wanted to put a giant fly box on the back side here, extra storage and a zippered pocket in the front. Um, Hopefully this gives you a better idea of the bags coming out for next summer and for spring 22. Thanks.